Hello guys, welcome to Techno Cruise. Today I'm gonna provide you a tutorial on how you can flash your SIMAN phone or uh, you can call it hacking anyways. Uh, so basically what we need to flash a phone is a software called Nokia Flash Tools. Uh, you can download it from this link. So, uh, Nokia Flash Tools has four softwares inside it. Uh, but before installing uh, them, uh, let me aware you, uh, if you are having any antivirus system, so kindly disable it. Uh, for the moment uh, you are flashing your phone or uh, installing this software, um, you can uh, turn it on after you flash it. Because uh, sometimes uh, one of these softwares are detected as a Trojan. Uh, but don't worry it's not a virus as it's a uh, developer hacking tools uh, so uh, sometimes the windows defender blocks it and automatically deletes it but if it's deleted so you can't flash your phone um, so uh, just disable it until you uh, finish the installation so now uh, extract this four softwares to each separate folder uh, first of all install this app uh, I won't uh, show the installation cause I have already installed it in my system uh, the second step uh, copy the um, PK emulator, this blue icon, uh, right click copy, then go to sheet drive, then program files, uh, then search for the folder Odeon, okay, then zaf, then paste it over here, continue, yeah, then the third step, um, copy the uh, zaf nokia 4 models dot ini file, it's a configuration file, uh, to the same location where you pasted the previous software uh, just paste it over here previously it will be having a similar type of file just copy and replace it yeah it's done then uh, just ignore this one uh, it's no needed of here okay uh, the now the main thing uh, um, wherever you have downloaded the firmware files uh, there will be seven files uh, the the main three are the UDA FPSX file, uh, PRD Core 00, and ROFS 2 V1. This is your main firmware file, which consists all the elements of your firmware. So basically, what you're gonna do is copy all the seven files, uh, and then go to C drive, and then program files, uh, and then Nokia, and then search for the folder for Phoenix. Um, this folder usually doesn't um, stay here so if it's not there you're gonna create a new folder named Phoenix uh, then go into it then uh, create a folder called products then go into it then create a folder regarding your uh, software version your RM model uh, if it's uh, 5233 or something then it's RM625 if it's 5800 then it's uh, uh, 559 or something you can find your RM by uh, dialing star hash uh, double zero double zero hash. So click it, uh, and then just paste all the files that you have copied previously. Uh, I already have the files copied down here, but I'm for showing you, I'm copying it again. Copy and replace. Yeah, it's done. Copy it. Uh, now the main thing, uh, we have turned off your our antivirus. Uh, now go to C, Program Files, Odeon, Zaf. Click on that blue icon, the PK emulator. Uh, well, now if you're using Windows 7, uh, right click open it, Properties, uh, go to Compatibility, and click this. Run this uh, program for compatibility mode for Windows XP. As this program is configured to run only in XP, so we have to run this in uh, Windows XP Surface Pack 2 mode. Click OK. Now open it. Mm, just click on the Go. Uh, don't uh, worry about these lines. Uh, it will uh, show a warning box. Uh, don't worry, it's just a regular warning. Uh, it's not needed, the box drive or something. Click on OK. Now uh, a Symbian phone is of type BB5, so go to the tab BB5. Uh, now please follow the steps carefully what I'm gonna do here. Uh, untick C at 308, click on manual flash, click on dead USB and now click on use INI. Uh, you have to wait, 
until a pop-up box appears then you gotta select your RM model RM625 Nokia 5233 and click OK so you will find uh, the lights will be glowing uh, the MCU, PPM and APE uh, this file doesn't glow uh, so you have to find it then uh, the next step connect your phone uh, to PC uh, in mass storage mode uh, then go to your phone uh, mass storage memory and delete the private resource and sys delete these three folders because uh, this contains the files of your previous firmwares and uh, when you flash it uh, so it might get uh, overwritten or replaced so it might cause um, pr problems in your phone so better you gonna delete it delete the files Now the next step, uh, switch off your phone, uh, switch off, switch off your phone and connect it to your system, keep connected with USB, just switch it off, okay. Now then go to Zaf and uh, click on flash, uh, it will show a warning box but don't worry it's uh, nothing to be serious it will show the files which you have set for flashing but just remember uh, you are using the firmwares according to your software version suppose your phone software version is v50 do not flash with the files that is of for software v40 flash with the firmware that is meant for v50 or else it will downgrade the phone but don't worry if it's get downgraded you can flash it again flashing is a hit and trial method you gonna go on flashing and flashing so nothing harms to your phone then click on continue yes it will also searching for phone so click uh, for half seconds the power button just half seconds no need to press and hold it just simply click and leave it then it will uh, complete the start the flashing process you can see the progress bar here starting and wait for the progress bar to be completed Uh, I would suggest to not to back up your files uh, through uh, the Nokia suit cause uh, um, it sometimes when you back up or restore them uh, so it doesn't support the previous firmware files so it's better go to mass storage and uh, then click below backup and then back up the contents through your phone and keep, save it in the memory card and don't back up uh, the settings uh, back up your messages and contacts and store it on the memory card so next time when you restore you can restore them from the memory card now you can see the flashing process is almost complete Poor, it's showing pulling phone uh, so your phone will uh, show a white color screen um, then wait for it now it's done so you can see the flashing is completed it's done your phone will be showing local mode uh, don't worry just remove the battery and reinsert it and switch on your phone this was the way on how you can flash your simban phone in just few simple steps thanks for watching subscribe us at youtube thank you